Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Crown Lighter Corporation aluminum block petrol lighter. This is a very well made lighter very thick well marked it says Crown Lighter Corporation patent pending Milwaukee Wisconsin has a very nice knurled fuel screw which does have an integrated screwdriver that is there to manipulate the flint spring screw see the wadding there slider does show scuffs scratches dings other wear A nice thick roller on there the snuffer is very heavy and closes as such it's got good tension from the piston spring underneath it see the fluted file roller, the actual file portion up here, the fluted part is what your thumb is going to roll over to actuate the ignition mechanism of the lighter. Very big snuffer that encloses not only the wick on this side but the file roller on the other this crown lighter corporation was listed on the toledo bin bcl site and they did have one picture or i should say one lighter there were about three pictures of it they look very similar to this one, although not identical, maybe a little bit more rounded looking. There were three other Crown Lighter Corporation aluminum block petrol lighters shown there on that page under the Crown heading. And they were different. They were not as wide. They had an overhanging snuffer. Looked to be a varying design altogether. There you see the flint spring screw. You see some wear here on the back of the snuffer where that has worn up against that piston as it goes up and down. You can see the scratches. That's one good thing about aluminum block lighters is you don't typically have a lot of dents or dings in them. But you do end up with scratches, sometimes that scaly corrosion. And oftentimes you get a lighter which is not marked. So I love it anytime that I can get my hands on a new aluminum block petrol roller pocket lighter that I have not had before and especially if it is marked with such detailed information. So where there are a lot of aluminum block lighters that might even be marked 
with the brand name, but not where they were produced. This has not only the brand name and the patent pending designation, but also that the lighter was produced in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's very thick. It has crossed my mind that perhaps, uh, I don't think so, but it is possible that this bigger of the crown models was intended to be a table lighter. And like I said, that may be possible. I don't think it's likely. It's just not that big. It is considerably bigger than the Del Mar lighter that you may have seen a video or two on. But that's a really short one. We have this Coast, which it's a little bit closer in size to. But all in all, uh, looking at this Crown lighter, it is considerably bigger, thicker, bigger in most ways than most aluminum block petrol lighters, at least the pocket variety. I do have an example or two around here of aluminum block lighters that are meant for the table. And I would be glad for somebody to correct me and tell me that that is the case with this particular lighter. Took way too long to ignite on that particular turn. This lighter has lit very well at different times. It has a Dunhill blue flint in it right now, which has seemed to make it strike much better much more reliably, much more dependable. Um, not counting what you just saw, those three or four strikes where it did not light. Very heavy lighter, uh, especially for an aluminum block variety lighter. Nice. fuel screw with a big wide slot in it and while it is used it does not look like that slot has been abused that is a standard problem with many aluminum block petrol lighters is maybe because of the way they corrode I don't know but Seems like the screwdriver slots are marred up on a pretty regular basis. So nice fuel screw, big thick aluminum block roller lighter. This is the first crown lighter that I've had in my hands and I am glad to have made its acquaintance and hope that there will be others in the future. But as for now, I'm happy with this one and hope that I can just get it to function reliably. Until next time.